something I've been noticing that's been happening. What's that? And I, I'll take it away from for a second because it started from weed. Okay. But I've noticed like complimenting smells is an insane behavior. You ever smell something and it's a good smell, but you react because it shocks you. So it's like if you smell pizza, mm-hmm. you got to say something like, oh, yeah, that pizza smells good, right? And I was thinking about this. It seems like that is a learned response to not show how psycho you actually are. Okay. Because since you were a kid, the reaction to pizza is, pizza! Right? Like, you know what I mean? But, like, <laughs> once you get to a certain no. age. All right. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Once you learn. get to a certain age, that reaction is unacceptable. It's, it is? Nigga, you can't be 40 years old. <laughs> pizza! Right? Nigga, <laughs> so, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. It evolves. You don't go, pizza! You just go, let's set a date to go to a pizza place because no, no, I'm no, really no, in no. for a good slice. If, we, if you and I are walking down the street in, an, in another city and one of us smell pizza, somebody's going to go like, you think for a second and you go, damn, nigga, that pizza smell good as shit. Like, that's the, that's the mature version of yeah. pizza! Yeah, but that's, <laughs> I do that now. What? It say the it, pizza smell good as shit, yeah, right? Pizza, that, yeah. But I you're be- suppressing, you know, the initial instinct is, but you can't do but that. That's the same with the ice cream truck. It's the same. Exactly. With, because it's it, okay. First of all, first of all, your smell—that's the sense that's right out in front of you. Sometimes yes. you smell shit before you see things. Right. So that kind of—I don't know about retarded, but it's just like that's your first sensory overload. So follow me on this. Okay. This is a thing that is really weird and it's been happening to me a lot lately. All right. Everywhere, All everywhere right. we go, every state, every country, everywhere. I will light up a joint or a blunt and somebody goes, that smells no. good. <laughs> oh, I hate them. I hate those snitch What are you fucks. doing? What are you Damn. doing? Well, what is that? Damn. What is that Way that when you it smell weed my weed, and bring it right, and right. you want to be it? a snitch? Right, because the weird thing is, like I said, people don't do that about cigarette smoke. Nah. Cigarette smokers don't come out and be like, oh, are, you, are those new I hate those people. <laughs> As a matter of fact. Is that Marlboro? Now if you triggered <gasps> mine. Now right. I'm having a sensory goddamn overload. I hate when motherfuckers go. Some smells good. Like, shut the fuck up. Right. What yeah. is that? That yeah. what, something about weed? Because I think it's the fact that it used to be illegal. So again, there's that yeah. alarm. Little. Your natural instinct is to be like, someone's doing drugs. Tattle. But you want to be cool about it. Yeah. So you're like, oh, something smells so that, good. So tattletaling involved into that. Right. Right. Pizza. So, damn, this pizza <laughs> See, smells I good think, as shit. I don't think it's tattletaling. I think it's their way of getting you to share with them. And that's not going to happen. Is, which is not going to happen. So my response to that type of shit is always, it sure does. That smells good. It sure does. Yeah. And I keep smoking. Man, I, I get share. scared. I, was I in, tell them, stop snitching. Yeah. And they get all mad at me and walk Bruh, down the street. I was in Indiana. <laughs> I was in Indiana like a month ago. Okay. And I lie to you, it's, it's still illegal there. So I'm walking and smoking and I'm on the phone. And a nigga from across the street with his bicycle, like he's like in the full bike gear with the 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 the, the what do you call those? The water bottles in the yeah, back of his they thing. The ops. And he walking his bike, and he goes, "Oh, it smells good. I should probably be over there with you." And crosses the street to come over and walk with me. And I'm like, "Hey, bro, I'm on the phone." And he's like, "Oh, oh okay, excuse me." But yeah, it's just like, be it, nigga. yeah, bro. Like that scared the shit out of me, bro. Like you came across the street, like you was a cop or something. Like, yeah, they the you, ops. I don't yeah, like people to do that. That's a weird thing. Mind I, your business. You I know, smell weed. I don't go nowhere near. When you know I smell who don't say weed. shit? Kids. Kids. Upper East Side, I be smoking. These kids be like, "Man, fuck this nigga sitting here. I'm trying to get to soccer practice." Right. Because the park. Is on the corner. It's gated off, so I don't. Yeah. And sometimes I need to shade right where the trees at. Kids don't sell a goddamn thing. Right. I remember my kid when she was little. She used to catch her mom smoking in the bathroom. That shit was so funny because I didn't smoke at this time, and my ex was smoking in the powder room of our thing. You talking about Charvel? Yeah, yeah. Yay! She was smoking. <laughs> she was smoke in the powder Talking room. About she would Charvel. go up in the in the room and try to close the bedroom door and then go into the little powder room in the bed in the master yeah. bedroom and she would smoke with the window open. And I never forget one day I was downstairs in the living room and my daughter, she must have been about four, she came up to me and she goes, I think mommy's smoking in the bathroom. <laughs> I would you probably bust out laughing. 
<laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Which was so funny because that was years ago. Yeah. She was four. I think she finally confessed to this child that she smokes like two years ago. Which I was like, That's she knows, so man. She's been known, man. But yeah, man, guys, if you smell people smoking, just... just like, Don't be corny that's and a go. Weird thing so, to do. do you understand how much, uh, how many points you lose to a pothead when you walk by with your dumb whatever outfit on? You're already cool. You haven't said anything. But as soon as you go, something smells good. Yeah. You look like a whole enemy to me. That smells amazing. Look at this dork ass <laughs> fuck face ass fuck. I'll be like, what? And I was talking about yeah. this the fact of like, I realize I do smoke. High quality. High quality. So it, it probably does smell really good. It probably smells amazing, but it's just weird that you verbally, you know yeah. what I mean, put that out there. Like, well, shut your mouth. Yeah, man. Like, Jesus That's Christ. That's your way into the cypher. Yeah. Like, shout out. Like, them dumb girls that do that thing where they try to strike up a conversation while you smoking and then reach for the weed when they in the conversation because they feel like they're... Like, I've called people out on that. Like, that's how you chumming up to us know, right now? I know, that cracks me up. When Are you, you out of your fuck? And then you call them on it, they that look so embarrassed. Up. Are you I, out of your mind? What are you doing? I do I do laugh when you do that because uh, sometimes they're pretty and sometimes I do want to let them smoke. Uh, and Derek be like, nope. And I'd be like, yeah, that's right. She can be gorgeous, but, like, you got to learn vibes. Yeah. Just because you're pretty and, and whatever. And you come over here with that, lets me know you're not cool. Yeah. You didn't even ask. Yeah. So I was like, oh, you. Now I got to play you. As gorgeous as you are, I will, do, I like, I'll be like, you know what I like? I kind of like catching uh, models in a joke. Like uh, the other night I had, you know that you know that, that jacket I be having with the little circles on it? The little, uh, it looked like flowers almost. Them little circles I be wearing, them denim tears. The denim tears jacket? Yeah. Okay. My denim tears, right? We hanging out. It's my homies. It's a, it's a, it's a model. I won't say no names. I don't want to get nothing started. But she out there hanging with one of the homies, and she goes, she looks at my jacket with her little, my interpretation <laughs> is that this is kind of like a Rorschach test. I'm talking about my denim tears jacket. She says, this looks like a Rorschach test. Like, when I look at it, I feel like I'm doing a mental test for my mental stability. And she's like, what do you feel? I was like, this represents the cotton that the slaves picked. Back in the 1800s. <laughs> and what the fuck you got to say about that, right? Every, every All the comics bust the fuck out laughing. She turned red. I'm going to go now. I was yeah, like, yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you bad. You know, I know you shit. got Louis Vuitton this and that. But now you in front of Derek Gaines. So now you got to get snapped on. Yeah, 